Hey guys, we're back. Uh, I finished up this old hillbilly here. I got him painted. I'll kind of turn him around. Let you see him. Can you see that all right, Peyton? Yep. Okay. But, uh, I, uh, I enjoyed painting this one. Uh, I painted him just a little bit different than the other. Uh, I um, changed the color of the beard, a little darker headband, hat, hat band rather, uh, brown uh, boots rather than black, and uh, just kind of changed him up, uh, coat uh, color. But anyway, I'm summarizing what I've done, and I'm going to show you next uh, the old grumpy farmer that I did, and so you can get a good close-up view on him. But uh, what I'm going to do uh, tonight is I'm going to uh, do a little sharpening demonstration for you. And uh, I know a lot of you got uh, uh, tools probably for Christmas. And uh, I want to show you how I maintain and sharpen my, my tools. But uh, let me put the old grumpy farmer back. And here is uh, the... Uh, face and eye stick that I did. There's my face and my two eyes I use all the time. And then I did a little lip down here. I'll do one of these later in, a, in an open mouth. Uh, somebody wanted me to do one for them and I did this at a club meeting. Uh, but anyway, what I'd like to do now is uh, go ahead and get uh, to my sharpening. Uh, now I use uh, most of the times when you get tools, uh, you get them uh, sharp, uh, they're sharp from the manufacturer, but when you need to maintain your tools, I personally use uh, DMT diamond stones. And uh, this one in here, this is a uh, coarse and extra coarse uh, uh, on, on this stone. And over here on my table, I have a fine and an extra fine and to really to maintain your edge you want to use the fine and everybody uh, there was a lot of comments on how I sharpen gouges well this is a number nine well I take my gouge and I take it and I roll my gouge and on the bevel you want to keep the shallowest bevel that you can degree wise and you just hone it like that I'll just do a couple of bites on it because this tool is sharp it doesn't need a whole lot so I'll lay that right there and here is my little number 11 gouge I use all the time well, in this one, you do the same way. You roll it on your stone. And once again, you want to keep at the shallowest bevel as you can. Now, I want, I've got a picture I drew down here on a piece of paper. I want to show you bevel. On your bevel, this is the bevel that I'm sharpening to. When you get a manufactured piece, you have a bevel like this. I like to grind this edge off here and have me a flattest surface as I can on the bevel. And it just takes getting used to. But I wanted to, to let you know that I, I use the flattest bevel I can. Uh, but back to sharpening my tools. Then uh, here's my, my V tool. Well, what you do on the V, what I do is kind of sharpen the flat side of each side and I couldn't tell you what bevel I mean what degree bevel I'm at but it's a really a shallow bevel and you can take this and at the on a V tool there really is in the inside of your tool it really is a little small gouge or a U-shape in there. So you want to kind of roll this 
uh, like this and what I'm once again this is a uh, the extra fine and this is what I do to maintain my tools first I put them on the stone like this now uh, that is my my, my gouges and my V-till. Now on my knives I take the stone out and hold it in my hand and this is my straight edge knife. On my straight edge I take it can you see that Peyton? Yep. And I and I hold it in my hand and I, I'm working away from the edge I'm not pulling the edge toward me, I'm more pulling it away from me. Then you turn it over on the other side and do the same on that side. And I, I really, I have used all kinds of, of stones, uh, Arkansas stones, uh, just all kinds of sharpening stones. And I really have found that using the diamond stone maintains my edges. Uh, a lot uh, well the way I like it and once again uh, you don't have to sharpen like I do I mean there's a lot of way to sharpen I'm not saying mine is the way to do it uh, just like I'm not saying uh, when I carve something that's the way it's supposed to look because no you want to learn on your own you want to come out and, and do your own thing now this is a little upsweep I start on my on my tip end of my knife and I work up and with a rocking motion like this and then you turn it around and do the same on the other side how are we doing on minutes Peyton? you got about 10 left okay all right now once I've got that done I move over and I put it this is a, 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 a you have straps and leather straps and that kind of thing but I, I use power now and I I turn on my leather wheel, this is my leather wheel, and I'll hone uh, the uh, outside of the tool, and then I'll buff the outside of the tool, and then I'll turn it on its side and work the inside. And uh, on this uh, uh, buffing wheel and uh, I use this uh, green honing compound it's a micro honing compound and I, I get this I think from Woodcraft Supplied but that's a big bar and, and it lasts for a long time but well, I want to go ahead and, and hone these others over here real quick um, and you do the same I'll just do the outside edge of my number 11 Do the outside on my cloth wheel or my buffing wheel. Turn it over and do the in inside. Make go back and forth out and then enter. Then I do my V tool the same way. I put it on the leather wheel first. And I buff it on the outside edges of my V and then the one on the inside you want to press down on these V's to get in the interior now there's uh, there's other ways to, to buff your I mean to, to hone your tools besides this power and I wanted to show you uh, uh, you have all kinds of leather strops this is a leather strop you can strop your tool like this, back and forth. Um, same with uh, all your gouges. And then uh, you even have some that have ridge, high ridges to really get in and get the inside of these tools. Uh, that little edge that you need to remove a little wire edge well, this is how you remove it if you don't have a, a access of a buffing wheel but 
Now I'm, I, I want to get back to my knives and show you how I, this is my little upsweep knife. I'll put it on, on my leather wheel and I'll, and the, the, the wheel is rotating away from me. And while I'm at it, I'm going to show you how I'm going to apply this green compound. I put it on the wheel, press down, and it adheres to my wheel. Do the same to the cloth, or my cloth buffing wheel. And you can see it got green on that. So I'm going to buff that down, that edge. Come in here, and I do all my tools this way. Now, if I drop a tool and I nick it, uh, that's when I have to go to my my coarse and extra coarse uh, stones, and and I'll just sharpen them till I till I remove the. Uh, nick on my tool. But anyway, that's my knife there, and then I'm going to do this. And the wheel is rotating away from me. And the edge of this blade is going with the wheel, not against it. Same with the buffing wheel. And then you can turn it on the on the edge to polish down up and uh, up close to the hilt of the knife. But then I take it off, and when I'm carving, I take little blocks of wood. And if you see there, I got all kinds of eyes and faces. Well, this is my little test stick to see if I if my tools are sharp. Well. That looks pretty sharp. It's cutting, cutting good for me. Now I'll try a gouge. I'll come in here with my gouge. Yep, they're making me a little place in there. Are we good on tab right now, Peyton? Got about five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. But anyway, that's how I sharpen all my tools. Now I did want to say uh, for the next video, I'm going to do this little Santa bust. And you know I wasn't gonna do it tonight, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna kind of start. I'll, I'll show you how I've got uh, right here. I've got this kind of drawn out on here. Well, we'll just get started on this guy. Well, I'll just start moving the wood. And I want to taper this as much as I can. See how you start to taper that? And off camera I'll go I'll, I'll go and kind of get it shaped up a little bit. I want to start where I put my lines in. I want to start tapering that back in there. Back here. And I've got this big old rough out knife. You can use anything to get you going. But uh, we want to think we want to get this guy really tapered down. How's it looking there, Pete? Good. But uh, it uh, on my sharpening, I, I you know I, I just want to say that I'm not. That's this is just the way I sharpen. There's books on sharpening. Uh, all kinds of uh, stuff uh, you can find on sharpening. Uh, I'm just kind of I'm just showing you how I, I maintain the edges on my knife. Let's well, see, I've got that kind of rounded now, and I want to start tapering this a little bit more. And we'll get into this guy on the next carve, and we'll get the, get him all pretty much blocked out. And I know it's a little late to be doing a Santa, but uh, uh, you, you can, uh, if, if you try this guy, you can do, have him for next year or, or just for practice, you know, just for practice sake. Santas are always fun to do. They're always an interesting 
carving to do. And I'll start rounding these edges. Well, how much time we got, Peyton? About three minutes. About three minutes, okay. Well, let me round this a little bit more. I'll redraw my lines. But you see how that's starting to taper? And right here, I'll start where that little ball on the Santa is. I can go in and kind of put that in right there. And And this, uh, this is all, it's not band sawed out like my grumpy farmer or it's not a, it's not a rough out that I've, one of my rough outs. And this is, uh, actually this is the way I learned to carve, just by just chopping the thing out as you went. See there's the bottom of the beard there. Can you see that all right, Peyton? Yep. All right. And then I can come in right here and make me a notch right there. And start putting them in this shoulder area right over here. How we doing, Pete? Good. We got time still? Yep. All right, I'm going to uh, start. And see what I'm doing is I'm making this high point right in here to where the uh, nose will be. And on this back, I wanna I don't wanna make a definite cut, so I'm just gonna kinda make me a sweet cut in there. And but anyway, uh I, we're gonna see he's coming right along. There's where the little ball will be. And we'll get into more facial structure next time and taking some of these edges off. But uh and he's he'll be just about Oh, about the same size. I, I, when I cut the piece out, I cut it out to this size. So anyway, till next uh, uh, video, uh, uh, happy carving to everyone. And I hope uh, the little dem sharpening demonstration will do you some good. And, and once again, uh, that's just the way I maintain my tools. So till next time, we'll see you. Goodbye.